One thing that I never gave much thought to was uh, what would happen if we had a tsunami or a tidal wave? I mean, it, it, you know, a, a tidal wave could come here well, yeah, with any minute now. It, although chances of that happening are very small. Now, if a tidal wave that came here, the si which was the size of the wave that hit Thailand, I think it says that the wave, that wave was around 30 feet high. So, actually, I, w I would probably could probably take a pretty nice video of it as it rolled through here. I'm, I'm around 30, 30 feet high or maybe more. Of course it would probably it would inundate the island. I, I don't think that it would knock down those buildings. But if a, if a tidal wave, a tidal wave is called a tidal wave because it's, it's just that, it's a tide. A tidal wave is not really a tall wave, it's a very wide wave. It can be, you know, a 10, 50 mile wide wave. And the reason it's so tall is because when it hits land, that 10 or 50 mile wide wave collapses and the and it turns out to be, well, a high wave. And if a, a tidal wave to were, were to come through here, all of a sudden all this water, we, we would have like a, it would look like a real low tide. I mean, I don't know what, how, how low it would go out, but that would be a sign that a tidal wave is coming in. But I, I don't think we've ever had it. I've never heard of a tidal wave hitting the uh, east coast of the United States or even the west coast. But there are earthquakes out in the Atlantic Ocean. I mean, it could happen. Anything could happen.